Hey, my question for you today is, are you addicted to hand knitting like I am? Well, if you are, then stay tuned. Um, I'm going to teach you how to do the ribbed honeycomb. And it's a combination of knits and pearls and crossovers. So if you have some chunky yarn and your scissors and possibly a lighter, then let's get started. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cast on 38 stitches. And this is because um, the pattern that I'm doing is multiples of eight and then it will change up you know uh, at the end but it also has a knit one on each end so if you wanted to do a smaller size I recommend a cast on of 33 and you would just um, take out one of the sequences um, but I will post that, um, you can see the pattern is right here. And if you have any problems with cast on, if you're a beginner, then I will link my beginner video in the description below. So I'm gonna knit the edge, then I'm gonna purl one, then I'm gonna do the knit two, for the rib and I'm going to purl one and a purl one is a great way to separate the stitches and then I'm going to knit four and that's for the honeycomb cable then I'm going to purl one knit two purl one and knit four again. I'm gonna go up uh, at least six rows to show you guys the pattern that this is gonna create. I'm not gonna do the whole blanket because that would take quite a bit of time and I would just want you to know how this pattern goes. So then I'm gonna purl one, knit two, Purl one, knit four. One, two, three, four. Purl one, knit two. Purl one, knit four. Purl one, knit two, purl one, and knit your edge stitch. All right, so going back, we are going to purl one, knit two. Purl one and so this way the way I started it I'm just gonna go ahead and knit um, and then knit four um, I will start the pattern after this purl one knit two purl one knit four so I usually start the pattern going from left to right, but I wanted to give you guys um, just a good base to start out with. So here is uh, knit two, purl one, and the purl goes in the front and the knit goes in the back the working yarn in the back and then knit four 
And you can kind of see that as you go along. You can see the knits and the pearls um, as you become more familiar with hand knitting. And I'm going to knit two. Pearl one and knit four again. You can start, you know, the honeycomb off from the first row. I just chose not to this time. Pearl one, knit two. Pearl one and knit your edge. Okay, so now we are gonna start the pattern of the honeycomb cables. So, gonna purl one, and then we're gonna take and we are gonna do these four. Oh, it's not these four, sorry. It's the knit two, purl one. Now we're at these four. Um, we are going to take and we're going to, out of the four, we'll do the second one, knit first. Nope. <laughs> we are going to cross over. It's been a while since I've done this uh, honeycomb stitch. So we're going to cross the second one over the first one and knit it. And then we're gonna knit the first one second. And we are gonna knit the fourth one first, and then the third one over top of that. So if you didn't get that, I'll show you again. Then we're doing a purl stitch, two knits, a purl stitch, and here we go again with the uh, four stitches for the honeycomb. Um, it's really easy to get once you learn it. And thanks to my friend Deb who taught me. This um, is the second one, knit it first, and then the first one knit behind. And this one is the fourth stitch, knit first, and the third stitch, knit over the fourth. Then we're gonna purl, knit two, purl, and we're back to the honeycomb, the four. And so it basically is the opposite of the butterfly stitch. So the butterfly stitch, you know, is, um, it's just basically the opposite. So you're going to knit the second one over the top of the first, and then the first one underneath the second, and then the fourth one knit underneath the third and knit the third. And once we get back the next two rows, you'll see the pattern. This is going to be to knit because you can see the knits here and the pearls are the little bumps. So I'm going to purl. And here we go with the honeycomb. So number two of the four, knit first over number one, and then knit one behind. These two, you're going to knit the fourth one first and the third over. And then purl, knit two, and purl. I just love how this pattern turned out um, and I will try and post a picture 
of this when I finish it. Okay, so now we're going back. We're gonna knit, we're gonna purl the purls and knit the knits. So you are only, no crossovers or cross unders this time, just the four uh, honeycomb, we're gonna just knit those across. Purl, two knits, purl, then this is the honeycomb cable, you're going to knit the four, purl, knit two, purl, knit four, Pearl and knit two. Pearl, knit four. Two, three, four. And pearl. Knit two and pearl. And then we're gonna knit our edge stitch. Okay, this is gonna be the final stitch that is gonna complete the pattern. Okay, so we are gonna, again, purl the purls and then knit the rib. And then purl, and here we are with the honeycomb again. So this time it's gonna be a little different. So this time we're gonna knit this one, the second one under and the first one over. So we're gonna be creating a circle. So we're gonna do number four over the third stitch and three under. See how it creates a circle? Then I'm going to purl one, knit two, purl one, and then back to the honeycomb cable. So again, the second one under the first and the first over the second. Fourth over the top of the third, and then knit the third behind. See the circle? If you don't have a circle, then you need to rip it out and redo that row um, because the crossovers did not match correctly. And I have done that before in the past because sometimes I get the butterfly and the honeycomb confused. So here we go again. Knit number two and number one over number two. And four over three, and then knit three behind. Purl one, knit two, purl one. Okay, and here's the honeycomb. We are going to do two under and one over. Four over three, three underneath the back, and then purl, knit, knit, purl, and knit. So that is the pattern, and the thirty eight, it's gonna, um, it does get a little bit tighter with the honeycomb stitch. So the 38 cast on, let me get my measuring tape, is going to be approximately this. 
55. 55 width. So if you'd like to do it smaller, um, like I said, I would do a 33 cast on. And I'll just do one more row with you guys. <clears throat> so this is pearl, knit, knit, pearl, and then again, going to the left, you just knit the honeycomb stitch, pearl, knit, knit, pearl, and knit four. Going to the right is when I do my pattern. And then purl, two knits. Purl, and four knits. Purl, two knits. Uh, purl, and four knits. <clears throat> Pearl, two knits, pearl, and knit. So, on this row, you would be, <clears throat> excuse me, starting your honeycomb pattern again. So, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and give me a thumbs up or subscribe, and happy knitting!